click the Evaluate tab. Click Interference Detection. Right click on the flashlight, click Clear Selections. Select the housing from the Feature Manager. Select the Battery and Battery Plate subassembly. Click Calculate. There is an interference indicated in red between the rib of the housing and the battery. We need to modify a dimension. Display a right view. Click OK from the Interference Detection Property Manager. Expand the housing. Double click on the second rib. Modify the dimension 1.3 to 1.35. Click Rebuild. Click OK. Click Interference Detection again. Right click Clear. Expand the housing. Expand the flashlight. Click the housing from the Feature Manager. Click the battery and battery plate. Click Calculate. Now, no interference exists between the housing and the battery. Click OK from Interference Detection. You can right click on Housing from the Feature Manager and change Transparency. Display an isometric view. In SOLIDWORKS, it may be necessary to export files into different file types. The housing, for example, might be first tried as a stereolithography part or rapid prototype part. Right click Housing from the Feature Manager, click Open Part. Click File, Save As. Click OK. Expand the Save As Type. Select STL for File Type. Click Options. It may be necessary, according to your Rapid Prototype provider, to save output in binary or ASCII, coarse or fine. Click OK. Click Save. It takes a few seconds to generate all the triangles. Click Yes. Now create an e-drawing. E-drawings are used to share data with people who don't necessarily have SOLIDWORKS, such as your vendors or your customers. Click File. Click Publish to eDrawings. An eDrawing is created. Here you can play an animation, mark up with comments, and when you create a drawing, be able to display the top, front, right, and other views of your drawing.